Eight candidates for director of the FBI met with Attorney General Jeff Sessions Saturday to interview for the job, a move that's already bringing criticism from some lawmakers. I don't believe he should be part of this, this review process if he's going to have a true recusal. And, and as well, I think whoever the future FBI director ought to be, it should be a law enforcement professional. This position has never been politicized. I hope the president won't choose a political nominee. All right, so I'm calling for his recusal. recusal. Let's bring in our fair and balanced political panel to weigh in. Mark Levine, talk show radio host and member of the Virginia House of Delegates, and Josh Kimbrell, contributor for Red State. Okay, you know, Mark, I think I know what you're going to say, but <laughs> do you think he should recruit himself and why? Because the FBI focuses on a lot more than just the Russia investigation. That's true, but Donald Trump, our president, said that Comey was fired because of, quote, the Russia thing. Well, unquote. he said, a, but he had a number of reasons for firing. He did say that during an NBC he, interview. He did say that, and it actually undercut all his in, employees, actually, including the vice president, who came up with something different. Look, Sessions met with the Russians. He said he's going to recuse himself from this. He needs to recuse himself. If the guy is fired because of his investigation, which is really kind of nice, be kind of nice to fire someone who's investigating you, then absolutely Jeff Sessions has to stay out. That's okay. They have a deputy attorney general. There are others who can do the, the vetting. All right, Josh, you get in there because I, I, you have a lot of folks who say he needs, to, he needs to focus on the task at hand. He should not recuse himself on this one. Well, well, first of all, now former FBI Director Comey said three different times, sometimes under oath to Congress, that there was no evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. He never said Russia. that. That's not so, true. No, though, the, the idea, it's Mark, absolutely the idea untrue. This is being, the idea that he's being fired, Mark, exclusively because of handling of Russia is ridiculous. Do you think he's it's because of Hillary's because emails? Of, he's fired because of what happened last summer when Loretta Lynch and Bill Clinton met on a tarmac in Arizona. So he was unfair to Hillary? James, then That's James why he was Comey, fired? Then James Comey has to jump in and do the press conference Loretta Lynch should have done. Now, Comey shouldn't have done what he did, but the fact is James Comey botched it when he took the FBI political after Bill Clinton met with Loretta Lynch on a tarmac in Arizona. James Comey should have been fired. The, the only mistake President Trump has made here was not firing him sooner. He should Why have fired didn't him he fire him January. sooner? And, and Mark, and Mark, why, why did he ask for his it's loyalty? Crocodile, it's crocodile first. tears. It's crocodile tears from guys like you because two thirds of you two weeks ago said that James Comey ought to be fired. Then he gets fired. Then yet, like he's an okay, elder that, statesman who got canned. That sort of brings me to my next question because there was a, a new NBC Wall Street Journal poll out this morning, and Mark, I want to pose this question to you. It said uh, to only 29 percent of those polled approved of the firing, and I want to ask you: Is this because of timing? And the reason this surprised me is because there were so many people, especially on the Democratic side, that wanted to see him go. It's entirely because of timing. Look, I don't like Jim Comey. I don't think he should have violated Justice Department guidelines and basically brought up something that wasn't true about Hillary Clinton in a way to influence the election. It well, then why aren't you happy thing. that he's gone? True. Wasn't true, Mark? Wasn't true? It we wasn't true. Of, there were, the, the investigation emails, was closed. Hundreds of emails and that she sent. Hundreds of emails. There were two. He injected there were two himself into that, a political campaign. He injected and they himself were all, into a political campaign. I agree. Campaign. I agree. Well, he agree. He, shouldn't he shouldn't did have. a terrible and thing. He, and you said he should have been fired two weeks ago. So what changed? I mean, no, the he, thing he should is have he been was fired. He should have been he fired by been President fired Obama. In January. He should have been fired in January. Or in January. That's fine. But when Donald Trump says, I'm going to fire him because he's investigating me, I'm going to fire him because it looks like I've done something wrong with Russia. Russia, and I don't Trump, want the people President, to know about Mark, it. Let me ask Mark, you this. Mark, Do you support Mark, a special President prosecutor, Trump said, Josh? President Trump said, President Trump said, that he had decided to fire him far before this latest round of discussions over Russia. In fact, most people close to the Trump administration who are part of the Trump transition team have suggested that the president had decided to fire James Comey uh, before even the inauguration, or at least toying with well, it. Well, then why did he I invite say, James Comey say, to dinner? I would say I'm going to butt in here. Anyway. I'm going to butt in here only, yeah. only, to move, uh, only to move the conversation forward. And, and Mark, I want to pose this next question to you because I, I do want to get it in. Okay. I want to know how important is timing right now? Because there's a, a fact that we, we may hear from the former director of the FBI, J uh, Jim Comey, who you can see on your screen right now. He may testify in front of an, an open hearing for the public to hear. Those headlines are going to be splashed across every newspaper. So my question to you is how prudent is it that they make a decision in the near future on a new director of the FBI? Donald Trump has to appoint someone with unimpeachable integrity, or he may himself be impeached. He has to appoint someone who no one can question their honesty, their duty. If he does a political crony in there, this will be the end of Donald Trump. All right, Josh, you get the last word. 
I, I believe that the president's short list for FBI director consists of very strong individuals, including John Cornyn of Texas and Trey Gowdy right here in South Carolina, both of whom have uh, backgrounds in law enforcement and being prosecutors, or in the case of Cornyn, an attorney general of Texas. These aren't political cronies. These are professional law enforcement. They are politicians. They are not. <laughs> look, just because you have They've political never had office a politician doesn't make you a FBI crony. Director before. crony. Mark, so now we're going to put in a political crony. It crony? doesn't make you a crony because you ha held public why do, office. Why do you All right, gentlemen. I do have to the button it up. The reality is there's a great short list of candidates. And, Elizabeth, we appreciate the time today. I appreciate both of you. It is never dull. And don't you worry. The story's not going anywhere. So we're going to have you gentlemen back. Thanks, Liz. Thank you, Mark. Thank, Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it. Leland. Great conversation.